Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Poem Masters video, and Nanu and Alone Persian got it screwed expanded as well. And as one of the stronger um, free to play like story, main story units, I'd say, um, his grid is alright. Like, it, it, it has grids, <laughs> has nodes in it, but it didn't really go the way I really wanted it to. I wish they made him more of just a, like, extreme, like, they added more tech stuff to him, right? More random, like, debuffs, right? He could deep, you know, maybe make him also debuff physical attack, or make him give move gauge acceleration team, or, or maybe, I don't know, do other, like, cool stuff. Aggravation, extra aggravation, or whatever. Uh, but they went with mostly nuke. There are some... Stuff that helps, right? There's like uh, Charging Infliction, one that could help with gauges a bit. Critical Focus, which could help him, you know, buff crit, his own crit by himself. So he could, because he does have Critical Sting, right? Which is kind of like Aggravation, but you have to crit. But it doesn't have like crit buff, so they gave him crit buffs now. Um, other than, you know, he also has the, oh, damn, I forgot the grid is locked. Because, you know, I always just had him at 1 out of 5. All right. Let's, uh, let's quickly give him a few candies here. Not an issue. It's tech. We have a lot of those. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and let's do a nuke grid first, and then we'll do a more tech-ish grid, which is, uh, again, the one I like the, m yeah, the most in terms of using Nanu, right? Uh, his nuke isn't, like, terrible, but it's just... Dark type has a lot of nukers, man. Dark type has a lot of those nukers, and I guess we'll have to drop one of these. And he doesn't even have an EX either, so it's like, why would I use you to nuke over other units? Right? Other other dark type nukers, generally. Um, I guess he's like not super. Oh, we have to. He does have double down. We have to look for a dark weak stage. What's a dark weak stage, man? Any of you guys weak to dark? None of these guys, these guys look like they're, they're weak to dark. What about, what about you guys? Hmm. Hilda? No, probably not. You, maybe? No. Nope. Um. May, may, maybe you? Yeah, it's him. Uh, clearly not a very, very good stage for this, but we don't have any dark weeks at the moment. But uh, we'll, we'll just try it out here with the, uh, there's like double down five, right, is the thing. There's Nanu, there's Nanu, we put Nanu in there, and then we'll... Have someone to buff him, I guess. Let's go. Let's go with uh, one of the best over here, and let's uh, let's let's do it. Let's not skip the ticket this one. I actually have to battle this one. All right. So uh, again, they're gonna have a bit lower defenses, so the nuke's gonna seem higher than it generally should, right? Okay. Actually, for this stage, we probably shouldn't even. We probably should fight like Hilbert or something. Because, <laughs> like, they're not going to do any damage to us. Right? So, like, who cares? <laughs> have a better unit here. Okay. Actually, since we're just trying to, like, check out... Ah, never mind. We'll just, we'll just go for the nuke here. Uh, let's see. So, Cretastrophe, Relentless, and Double Down. Those are relatively easy to get multipliers. So, he does have, like, a good nuke in terms of, like, it's relatively easy to set up, like... If you compare it to, it's not as easy as Sydney. Sydney's is. <laughs> you hit them once, you know, crit them, and boom, you're good, right? Um, but it is relatively easy if you compare it to like Darkrai or or Mass Royale. So there is that, and it does solid damage. It's just that, yeah, that's pretty freaking good, man. It's just that like no um, no tech EX, right? No tech EX. Would've been really nice if he got the tech X, but he didn't, so, you know, it is what it is, I guess. So, yeah, that's the nuke. It's a pretty powerful nuke. It's not super hard to set up either. Uh, but again, like I mentioned before, it's not the not my favorite way to use him. I like using him as the tech debuffer that he is, right? So let's uh let's try that out. Let me switch up a grid over here for him real quick. Let's uh let's get another one. Let's do because there's a lot of, you know, fun stuff that you could find on his grid in terms of the, the well, I wouldn't say a lot, but there's there's some right. Charging infliction gives you one gauge back. One gauge is one gauge, man. <laughs> I'll take it. Critical focus here, I guess. There's stuff like there's stuff like fail forward, which like 
gives you like one gauge back when the opponent misses, but like you're not really tanking with him. Cause yeah, he could evade, but like his defenses are he has 222 defense, which is not like terrible, but uh, 181 special defense, which is not that great. And 556 HP, which is atrocious. So like he's gonna die, bro. <laughs> you're not you're not tanking with him just to get one extra gauge back. No, you're not doing that. That is insanity. Um, but yeah, as for anything else, what would be nice actually is picking up Burston, even though it's just one crit, but you do have critical focus there. So then like after that, you'll have like plus one crit, and then like every move afterwards, you have a 50% chance of critting. So you could get your like crit maxed out like that in a way, which is actually pretty freaking good. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, there's not like a lot of things, but... Uh, I guess they did like the bare minimum in terms of things that I wanted. There's like, you have, um, you know, fast track, some gauge stuff. But that's basically all I wanted, I guess. <laughs> uh oh, charging infliction as well for like some more gauge. Yeah, I just basically want some gauge stuff, man. <laughs> that's, that's basically kind of it. Um, yeah. Oh well. It's alright, it's alright. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, uh, throw a team together. Mm, let's do. Nah, let's do Nessa, I guess. We could do Nessa. Where's Nessa? Nessa. Obviously, this is not your best option for a Nessa team, but. Just, just so we're trying it out, because Nessa does have those. Um, defense multipliers, right? Defense base, base multipliers. So. Alright, alright. Let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Okay. And we'll, we'll have him to easily debuff the opponent's defenses. Because he is uh, him, right? Okay, get some of these debuffed first. Probably shouldn't have used rain here. <laughs> Probably should have waited a turn or two. Oh well. We're alright. We're alright. Look at the gauges, man. The charging affliction was like unnecessary. But it's gonna, it's just gonna be really, really fantastic. And, um. And. Gauntlet, right? Because, like. Honestly, in my opinion, the two biggest things you really, really need for Gauntlet, outside of, like, obviously, units that fulfill specific conditions for the Gauntlet, right, is really, like, speed. Tank and speed, man. I feel like those two are incredibly overlooked in terms of um, things that you really, really need from a Gauntlet unit. And, well, it's not, like, speed, speed, but, like, gauges, which is what speed means in this game. Let's be real. <laughs> when someone says... It says speed, they mean gauges. At least I do. <laughs> Alright. When did it be X her? Oh yeah, when uh when Dota Glory came out. There we go, fantastic. I like that. Can we get a flinch in there? We did. That's nice. Not that it really mattered they were using X speed all, but you know. <laughs> nice to have, I guess. Um, razor shell. Get a screech in there. Probably shouldn't have done that. But yeah, like, he got the... He, he's just such a great gauntlet unit. Right? You got debuffs. You got speed. You got flinch. Almost everything you want in a, you know, in a gauntlet. He just doesn't tank that well and obviously doesn't do great DPS. You know, you know he did get some DPS stuff in his grid, but... Let's, let's be real. We're not, we're not, we're not DPSing with this guy. <laughs> he has, like, ramming speed and bottom weave. Which is a 60% multiplier, but... The base power of Bite is a uh, 50 <laughs> at 5.5, so <laughs> not uh, not 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 the best endorsement um, in terms of <laughs> it's, uh, it's 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 DPS, but yeah, he's he's great, great, great Gauntlet unit. You know? Um, definitely gonna you know try this new grid out in, in Gauntlet as well. <sighs> once uh once once I get some sleep, <laughs> I don't know why I'm just Omega tired today. But uh, anyways, there there's there's Nanu. And uh, we checked out the new Karen grid as well. We're going to check out Hapu and who's the other one? I can't even remember. Hapu and Molain. Molain's grid, also very freaking nice, man. Hapu's the only one that took the L, which is coincidentally the one that got the EX. Every, almost every single time, man. The EX, the, the unit that they give the EX to, <laughs> is almost always the like, worst one. of like. What was the last one? I don't remember. But, like The one for it was like SS Brock, and like they had like some goaded units there, right? Actually, 
Uh, uh, Drake wasn't, like, that bad, but I would say the other two were better still, right? <laughs> like, they just, like, picked the, like, worst units to give the yeses to. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's me this one. I hope you all enjoyed guys. Thank you in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the video. Right, have some more Poem House content. We'll check out the other two when I wake up tomorrow. So, gonna be fun. So, yeah, uh, that's all. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, then.